how to factor a quadratic um, using the generic rectangle and the diamond problem method. So um, we are looking at this quadratic right here and I know that I can start by drawing my generic rectangle and there's two numbers that I can automatically put right in my rectangle. Um, the first one is the 2x squared. The second one is the negative 4. Okay, we talked about how, remember, when we take the products of those two, they will always be the same. So negative 4 times 2x squared is negative 8x squared. So whatever this is right here, also has to be equal or have a product of negative 8x squared. So I use that and those diamond problems that we've been practicing. Um, you could make yours look more like a diamond, but I don't really like to because mine don't ever look very good. So I make a little x. Um, and my product, that negative 8x squared that we just talked about goes up top. And then this number right here is the sum of my two x's. So that goes in the bottom. And now we just solve like a normal diamond problem. Okay, so looking at this, let's see. Um, I know that one is positive, one is going to be negative. And I know the bigger number has to be negative. So this is going to be negative 4x and positive 2x. Let's double check to make sure that's right. Negative 4x plus negative 2x, sorry, negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x. So that sum checks out. Negative 4x times 2x is negative 8x squared. So the product checks out. So now I can put these into my generic rectangle and I can solve that generic rectangle for those missing pieces. So first of all, I know that these have to be x's. Um, this has to be negative 4. So negative 4 times x. This is going to be a 1 and this is going to be a 2x. Let's just double check. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x, so I'm left. Negative 4x, negative 4. Perfect. Okay. So now I can say that this is really equal to 2x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 1. And I get those numbers from the side. Let's try one more together. All right, I'm gonna start by making my generic rectangle. And again, I can put my 4x squared there and my 36 there. I don't wanna make any mathematical errors right now. So I'm just gonna double check my work here. So four times 36. Okay, so I am going to have a product for these two of positive 144x squared. And the bottom here is going to be negative 24x. Because that comes in right there. Perfect. Okay, this one is nice. Okay, I know that this is going to be negative 12x and negative 12x. I know that because um, my sum is negative, but my product is positive. So that tells me that both numbers are going to be negatives. And then 12 times 12 is 144. 12 plus 12 is 24. So there we go. Okay, so I have negative 12x, negative 12x. Okay, so let's see. I know that I'm going to have an x and an x. I 
believe this is going to be 2 and 2, and then 6 is 6. Both of these are going to be negative. Ooh, so they're the exact same. So this is going to be 2x minus 6 squared. You could also write that as 2x minus 6 times 2x minus 6. Either one of those works, but that is how we use the generic rectangle and the diamond problems to help us factor quadratic.